Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. It looks like it might start to be a sunny day today, so that's really exciting. I have a Poundland haul to share with you. And I went in for two things. I went in for screen wash and bubble mailers. And oh, three things and hairspray to be fair. And this is what I left with. There was a few things that I realised I needed as I walked around and a few things I was massively tempted by, which I'll explain in just a second. So let me start with this range here. So you'll see that they've got this new cleaning range. It's got these rainbows on it. And it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, just realised I've got some home-based paintbrushes here. I'll talk about those in a second. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful, this range. And we've got the Valida broom and dustpan but where I've been sort of de-weezing the patio I've been using them outside so I did plan on keeping them just as outside ones and replacing them anyway I didn't intend to get them in Poundland on that day but I just couldn't resist this range it's just such a beautiful print and I just really like that light blue and I'm thinking of adding a bit of colour to our front room and I'm thinking of adding a little bit of light blue so it would kind of literally match in perfectly so I picked up the broom, that was £3, that was definitely something I needed, and I picked up the dustpan and brush, that was £1.50. I picked up a new brush, I use these for the sofa, just to literally brush off crumbs, I was using this yesterday, and that, it's just really comfortable to hold, because it's got the rubber on each side, and that was £1.50 I think, or was it a pound? No, that one was just £1, and then the squeegee was £1.50, and I tend to use that when I wash these windows because obviously where we've got the bifold doors it's a lot of glass and it's really good to use a squeegee on those so I picked that up that was 150 and then there was a couple of other bits that I was tempted by so I did pick them up so they had this extendable duster which I thought was really good I've got I've got one of those little telescopic ones the little pound ones that pull out and pull back in again it's all right I did all live in this room but on the stairs and things, I just can't reach the top. So where this is that bit longer, this will be better. And I thought we've also got, like above our walls, we've got this ledge. And I thought that would be good to kind of get up there as well. Um, then I picked up this peg bag, which was £2. If I didn't say that was 3 I think. Yeah, the extendable duster was £3. So the peg bag was £2. We've got a little tin. It's just sitting on our ledge. It's really rusty now because we left it out over the winter. And it's fine. It's doing the job. Um, but I thought if I didn't use this as a peg bag, I can always use this as a little storage bag hanging in our closet. So yeah, picked one of those up. I'm tempted to get another one actually if I do end up using that to sort of tuck things in and get another one. Although Matt really doesn't like the rotary era. And to be fair, when it's up, it really spoils the, the view of our garden. So we're thinking of taking it down and just using like an era on the patio if ever we need to put washing outside, but we'll see. Um, so I might not use that for pegs. Then I picked up this. Now this I was really tempted by. It's one of those Swiffer mops. So it's an extendable floor mop. It was £5. Now we've got ones like this um, at school and I used to have one like this when I worked at a shop and it's so quick and easy to sweep up the floor. And obviously our front room, it's a through room and it's like wood flooring, like laminate wood flooring all the way through. And to hoover or sweep can be a bit of a pain, whereas I thought on a daily, this would be really good to just give it like a little bit of a swiffer, um, swiffer clean and then like a deep clean once a week. And then they did have these refills, which aren't the same as the one on there, but I picked one up to show you. These were £1. So if you've got an existing floor mop, you could buy one of these and put it on there. And we do have... Um, a Valida one which I'm hoping this will fit on I haven't actually tried I'm hoping that will fit on it so we can use it it's like a squirty mop so we'll be able to use it with that one as well and um, because we've only got the one head and when that's in the wash I have to put it on quite a long cycle obviously because you want to really get it clean so sometimes you might have a spill you might just want a, a quick something so it's good to have sort of two and I never bought an extra one but this one I like the fact that it's got the like dusty side on that side as well I don't know, I was obsessed, so I literally picked up all the range, and the other thing that they had was the mop and bucket, but I couldn't find an actual, like, thingy mop that you ring out in the, in the ringer, <laughs> if that makes sense. This was £3, we've actually only got one bucket, and it's an extendable one. When we were doing the bathroom and we needed more than one bucket, my dad had to lend us a few old ones, so I bought it mostly just to have an extra bucket in the house, 
for if ever we do need it. Um, but I thought if ever they do bring out the mop for this, then I'd get it because it'd be really good to give, especially the kitchen floor, a proper mop. Because obviously where we've only got the spray mop, I don't know that it's getting clean enough. So it'd be good to have like a proper mop. So yeah, so I'm really, really happy with that range. And if you spot it in your pound and let me know. Um, I think it's really beautiful. And just linked to that range, I'll just show you this. They also had these new little cleaning trays. Oh, what's in there? Oh, a pendant. These new little cleaning trays. I thought these were a pound, but they weren't. I didn't look. They were two pound, but I don't mind that they're two pound. I picked up a blue and a lavender because I've got a really big cleaning caddy. It's upstairs, but it's one of my school ones. And I need to take it to school, really, to put back with the set. And it's just a bit too big for what I need. So I just thought one upstairs, one downstairs with just the few basics that I would need. And then I can just take it with me room to room and get my clean on. So yes, yeah, so I really like those. They also had those in a dark grey, but I just wanted the, the colours because it's it's spring. It's coming into summer. I just wanted a little bit of colour in my life. And one of the things I actually went in for was this screen wash. I just, um, I normally get it from Halfords Ready Made. But as I was heading to Poundland for a couple of other items, I thought I'd pick it up in there. Um, I, I, my car is filthy at the minute. I'm not sure if it's because it's been sitting for a few days where I've not been going anywhere. Um, but I tried to clean the windscreen and it just smeared everywhere because there was no liquid. So I knew I needed to get some of that. Another thing I actually went in for were these bubble envelopes. I went to send a parcel earlier this week and couldn't find a bubble envelope anywhere. I'm sure I have some. But I have no idea where they are. They might still be living at my parents under the bed. Who knows? So I picked up a pack of six of this side. So hopefully that's big enough. I picked up one of these glass jugs that everybody's raving about. I don't want it as a jug. I want it as like a little vase. I thought it would be really pretty on our table with like tulips or daffodils in. But when I've got it home, there's a crack. I don't know that you'll see very well on the camera. But just above the handle. So I need to be really careful with that. It was only a pound. Um, and as I said, I'm not using it for the use of a jug, so I'm, the water probably wouldn't go that high up. But, yeah, you need to be careful. Um, when I was in there, I realised I don't have any sticky rollers left, any um, tape runner. So I picked just one of each of the colours that they do. They're a pound for eight metres. They're okay value and they're okay tape runners. I've had better, but needs must. They're just handy to have in the drawer, aren't they? Picked up some more chocolate brownies because we just finished a box and I tend to take these into school on planning day and share them with the other teachers. And you'll see, if you saw my empties video the other day, you'll see that that box was a box of 12 from Home Bargains. But from Poundland you get 12 plus 2 extra free, so it is cheaper to get them from Poundland because you end up with 14. I picked up a hand pack for myself because my hands are just really dry at the minute. I've literally deep cleaned my entire house top to bottom. I did wear gloves. But they're just a little bit sore, so I thought I'd treat myself over the weekend to a hand pack. I've got some face mat packs, face masks even, and foot packs upstairs. I just didn't have a hand one, so I can do the whole shebang. And I picked up this lip balm. I didn't really need another lip balm. I got pulled in because it's pina colada, and it's my favourite cocktail. This was only a pound, obviously. It's the Maybelline Baby Lips. I used to use Baby Lips all the time, and I actually quite like the formula of it. So that's a really good one just to pop in my pocket for sort of everyday use. Then Matt saw firelighters and we're probably going to have a few barbecues this summer. So he thought they'd be handy to have in the shed. I saw this little insect house and I wasn't going to get it because it looks like some of the little bits of wood have fallen out. But I just couldn't leave it there. And I actually had to go to Poundland again for something else later on in the week. And they definitely didn't have any more of these. So I'm pleased I picked it up when I did. So it's just £2. It's like this mint green little insect house. And the one that we've got in our garden, you probably won't see. Will it let me zoom in? It's actually fallen apart. Oh, it fell apart. That fell on it. The candle fell on it. The whole thing just was destroyed. It was a very sad moment for me. So I'd like to put another little something out there. Um, I went back later in the week because I realised I'd forgotten to get hairspray. So I picked that up separately. And that's when I looked for the other insect houses, but they didn't have any. And on that occasion, Matt was with me and spotted these ice pops. So he absolutely loves ice poles. And he likes these ones that you snap in the middle. And he's like the tango ones. So we picked up two packets of those. But I also picked up some of the smaller ones. These little easy freezy ones because they're shorter and I get a bit bored after a while of these ones, like half is enough for me. So I'm hoping that these ones might be just enough. Um, I also picked up some photo frames. 
So I picked up two of the 8x10. I want them for a specific thing. I actually wanted three, but they only had two. And on that second occasion when I went, they hadn't restocked. So at some point I'll get a third, but I'm not desperate for it. And then I just picked up a packet of the white 4x6 and a packet of the silver 4x6. Because I've used up all of my white ones on the Easter DIY. And I was tempted to take the pictures out the frames and use them for other things. But then I thought, at 50p a frame, I'm better off just leaving them in the frames and packing them away whole. And then I don't use the frames for something else. And then the final two items are this bag. I didn't actually buy this, but I keep forgetting to share it. I bought this a couple of weeks ago. But I am a sucker for a little puppy image. We used to have a black lab. He sadly is not with us anymore. And I miss him every day. And I saw this and just, I could not resist. Look at his little face. And then picked up some of these. These are food covers. So you pop these over your plates if you've got them either inside or outside just to stop flies getting on your food. And I've just put one together to show you what I mean. It's like literally a little square food umbrella that you just put down. My mum's got some of these and they're really, really handy. And I thought if we do have any barbecues in the summer, we can just pop these over the food and not worry. We get a lot of wasps and flies where we've got the farm behind us. So yeah, we get a lot of flying things. And then I just have some home-based paintbrushes. I've actually got a set of Purdy paintbrushes, which obviously are quite expensive. And I prefer using these. These are five pound for a set of five paintbrushes. Honestly, they're so cheap. And I really like these. I think they leave a really good finish, especially with Valspar paint and Dulux, actually. And they're just so much lighter. I find because I've got poor joints and really weak hands, the Purdy brushes, because they're wood, they're really heavy after a while. And these ones are just really light and I can paint for longer. Um, and a couple of them got ruined because the paint got left on them. So I've just picked up a couple of packets to put down in the shed. I need, I've got a few projects in the house that need painting. So, yeah, I just needed a few more brushes. And I like this set because it comes with this brush and that one there. If you look at the size, it's only 12 mil. So it's really, really handy having a really small one if you're doing sort of architrave or um, skirting, things like that. So, yeah, that is my Poundland haul. So definitely in love with this cleaning set and definitely was not expecting to buy all of this when I literally went in. I went specifically for hairspray, which I forgot the first time. Screen wash and envelopes. They were the only things I actually needed. But then it's things like tape runner that it's not till you see it, isn't it? And then you suddenly go, oh, I needed some of that. And then you but suddenly you're trying to carry everything as well as have a basket. Um, so yeah, so really happy with my little Poundland haul. Hope you liked it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in my next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, because I do often share hauls from bargain places. I've just had a range haul go up. Um, and I tend to go to sort of home bargains, Poundland, sometimes B&M quite regularly. So, yeah, there'll be more to come. I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye bye.